This is your KCTV 5 News Update. A man has died after a confrontation with Kansas City, Kansas police officers this afternoon. Two officers also suffered minor injuries. Happened about 2.30 near 57th and Taromi. Police say they got a call about a man standing in traffic staring up at the sky. Officers approached. There was a struggle over an officer's gun. Gun went off, killing the man. Right now, the community blood center is facing a critical shortage of donations, and they're trying to attract more donors with some fun perks. So today through December 3rd, all donors will be given a limited edition Chiefs Kingdom t-shirt like this one. If you donate before November 30th, you'll also be entered into a raffle to win a Chiefs fan pack, which includes four tickets to a game and parking. This is to see the Chiefs host the Raiders December 12th. The White House says 95% of the federal workforce is in compliance with the Biden administration's COVID vaccine mandate. The remaining 5% submitted exemption applications that are either approved or pending. The federal employee coronavirus vaccine mandate is set to go into effect by the end of today. Agencies will provide education and counseling for those workers who have not complied. More enforcement measures could be taken over time, too, if needed. Get ready for a chilly evening. Temps will be dropping into the mid 30s by the late evening hours and just about freezing or so early in the day on Tuesday. But a really quick warm up thanks to southerly breezes. We're at 42 at 9 and in the mid 50s at lunchtime. Won't be long before we hit 60 degrees. We'll end up at 60 degrees or a little bit better for about an hour and a half. And then temperatures will slip back into the lower 50s by 7 p.m. That's a good looking Tuesday and Wednesday, even though the clouds will be rolling in and you'll be able to see that coming from the west. That's your Wednesday, by the way, but really no serious chance for precip until the evening hours. And that too will favor areas southeast of Kansas City with maybe a quarter inch of rain from Clinton to Sedalia and Warrensburg, I suppose, could be in that same ballpark as well. But here in the metro, maybe not a drop at all. And Wednesday will be just as warm as Tuesday, 61 Tuesday, another 60 on Wednesday. Two beautiful days there just prior to Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day, well, it'll be an indoor day. 40 degrees your daytime high, but then it bounces right back on Black Friday, 53 after a really chilly morning, 54 Saturday, and temperatures will stay in the 50s Sunday and Monday of next week. Enjoy the next seven days. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.